discussing about sex, discussing about the use of condoms, discussing about family planning is something so natural for Western people, while it's not for Islamic people. Because to get the women to discuss about the use of condoms with their husband, to discuss about sex with their co-wives and friends, about family planning, has been a real, real revolution. In this sketch, the villages are telling the story of a woman who already had five children and who didn't want to have another one. And the husband didn't want to talk with her about family planning. And a participant who received the Tosan program just came and bring her a condom, this magic thing, and give it to her so that she can persuade the husband and discuss about family planning. Yoni Pahiti, Lam Nisa Maha Andama, Nekero Bange, Sukalan Deyonto, Pur Sukal Dey Luasim Unane De Koya, Hado Iradu Mwan De Julbo, Hatta Adum Hebde Hai Hunde, Alaku Ustara Adum Dalchi Wana Bom Ko Beidi Dum Fawren, Dum Don Ko Ada No Kono, Wopama. Gusumar <laughs> Mandum <laughs> dekk bu ma ñëkko na dekk sama ak sama ñu diko babla bala bu mamara fofu la nekk nak sama yaay fofu la sama doom joju gaañu mu doon sama 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 taal loolu motax Je 
Here we have different villages having the program coming together now. They use theater to raise awareness, where after the performance, the audience is supposed to ask questions and respond to them. We went to the Futa because we had been invited to visit classes there and I went with a delegation of people from UNICEF and when we got there we were very excited about going to visit the classes because we heard that the women were very motivated, very involved in this whole human rights movement. When we got to the hotel, we were ready to get up in the morning and leave and go visit the villages and went to our surprise, we looked out the window and we saw smoke. Well, what is this? We were saying, my gosh, what's going on? Well, it turns out it was a protest. We went out. Of course, we were not afraid. We just couldn't figure out what was going on. And they said, you will not go talk to the women. We do not want the women to be talking about ending female genital cutting. And we said, what, are you threatening us? And they said, yes, we are threatening you. And we discussed and we found out really that they did not understand what our program was all about. But what we did is we started classes for those men so that they would understand what human rights was really all about. And strangely enough, those same men are some of the biggest supporters of our program today, now that they understand and see how human rights can help not only the women and the children of the country, but also themselves. in Senegal people are not used to bring up their children with curiosity I mean the kids are not allowed to ask too many questions they are asked to listen to the elders and not to be too curious. This may be one of the reasons why the tradition has not been questioned so far, because no one has been raised to ask why, why, why. Dakhte 
te jël na sama xaliss ba lek ko ma di ci ñaan yalla yalla jëggal ma di balu ak xal yi nga xamni ñi ñom la ko defal wat te bima len koy defal bu sen sago du sen ba neex dama len ko forcé defal te parce que ma yéne di forcé benn dom adam liko def lo xamni bi du mu dipo ak du gëpp ga اشهد ان محمد رسول الله اشهد ان محمد رسول الله يا رسول الله يا رسول الله يا للفلا يا للفلا الله اكبر الله اكبر in 1997 after Participating in the Tostan program, the women from Malikunda Bambara decided one day that they will abandon, they will put an end actually to female genital cutting. After that, they went to Kersimbara to see the Imam Demba Jawara. They asked Demba Jawara and the village of Kersimbara to join them and abandon female genital cutting. But Demba Jawara told them, we need to take time and discuss with our extended family before abandoning, because you need to consult the intermarrying group to make it sustainable. Learning the Quran is not enough to know if female genital cutting is a recommendation or not because he knows the Quran and he can read the Quran. But for the interpretation, he used to go and see his religious leaders. And he even went to Cairo to attend a seminar for 17 days in Egypt, where they discussed with the kind of um, leaders about religion, and where they have learned that female genital cutting is not a recommendation in Islam. And then he went from village to village to sensitize, to discuss and dialogue with his people. By 2008, over 2,400 villages had declared an end to female genital cutting and forced early marriage. In 2007, we celebrated the 10th anniversary of Malikunda, which was the first village to make a public declaration about abandoning these customs. Et de Burkina Faso. 